Hey guys, Bilingual Duelist here. Damn, I haven't uploaded in already three to four weeks. I'm really feeling bad right now, but there was a lot going on. I was moving places and yeah, it's, it's so much to do guys, I can promise. And finally, I'm at a state where I can at least try to show you a little bit of yeah my new room, so to say, or studio, whatever you want to call it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. Um, it's far from being like perfectly done. There's still some things which don't belong to certain places. But you can see for yourself just how the transformation of my room, of my studio will go on in the next few months, I would say. So without further ado, let's have a look at my new room and studio. All right, guys, so this is the door where you enter my room. And once you enter my room, you are like greeted with all these volume one boxes right here um, these are all empty but i think they make a phenomenal display and they just look so awesome right very vintage and yeah let's have a look this is basically a little bit of my storage i have for sale a lot of items i'm trying to move and well this is just a part of it but yeah this is how i organize all my stuff right now um, and up here i was able to display all my Yu-Gi-Oh posters for the very first time in my life and yeah there's some reflections going on right now but yeah I'm very very proud of all these posters right here this is where the magic is happening where I make the new videos for you guys and yeah I will try to upload once a week again this is like my goal but right now there's still quite a lot to do but yeah step by step right yeah I have a cool window in my room as well and there we go we are going to continue with the posters and we are finally moving on to the main area um, which i will show you in more detail in a second here let's first focus on these awesome drawings by my mom uh, these are actual drawings guys these are not posters and on the right here we continue with some more posters and i just think it looks really really cool with all these posters on the walls i got these all from japan so these are all original posters and yeah, I just really like them. But you need a lot of room to actually yeah, hang all of these up. Yeah, this is basically uh, how big the room is. It's, it's not that crazy big, but it's enough. Um, here, this table is planned for like beauty shots and all of that stuff. Right now, totally crowded with random things. I just moved out of the way. But this area here will be for you know, like beauty shots. And like I showed you, my main like table is over there. And here I'm going to do like these top-down views of cards and binders and everything uh, I want to show you guys. All right. So next up, guys, I wanted to show you my like IKEA D12 case. And I do not have a lot of figures. At least I do not have a lot of figures I actually want to keep. But um, this Yu-Gi-Oh figure here or this uh, Pharaoh Atem figure here is one of my favorite figures. And I'm definitely going to keep that alongside with this beautiful blue eyes white dragon i know there's some people who don't like this realistic look but i'm a big fan of this figure just very very nicely crafted just love the details really nice and this is the small Kuribo pin i got in japan from like card shop el dorado and this is my <laughs> not used Yu-Gi-Oh mug most epic scene i would say you can choose for a mug very very nice down here we have uh, a starter deck Kaiba. This is actually sealed, but this is from uh, the Asian English times. So this is an English deck. And on the right we have an OCG, a Japanese Joey deck here with Jinzo at the front. Also very cool. And in the middle, guys, you've already spotted him, is my red eyes figure. Um, it's from the same maker as like the blue eyes up here. I forgot how uh, the brand was called. If you're curious, let me know in the comments. I can look it up for you guys. But yeah, very, very nicely crafted. And these figures aren't cheap. They're like at least, I think, two to 300 USD. So um, yeah, these are on the more expensive side, at least for me when it comes to figures. And down here we have, a yeah, by now quite a sad selection of sealed uh, displays. Um, there's like a German first edition Toon Chaos right here. Um, why do I have it like in, in this case? And this is basically the set which like really brought my interest back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Like it was 2019, was it? Like it's already three to four years old. 
and I just wanted to keep that because it, it, it like restarted my journey. And here we have a Farao no Isan booster display. These are sealed. Um, there's actually booster packs inside. And yeah, I, I just think it's a badass looking uh, display box. I really like it. And on the back here we have a Thousand Eyes Bible. Um, also, uh, the reason why I have this one is because this is actually the very first uh, OCG booster box which featured like an Ultimate Rare, which is a Thousand Eyes Restrict. And there on the back, you can't really see it that well, but there's also an Advent of Union booster box sealed. And yeah, just some nostalgic pieces I acquired over the time. And at the very down here, at the last area, um, I don't drink alcohol myself, but I just like the aesthetics of like Japanese kanji whiskies. And yeah, I collect some when I go to Japan. I usually bring a bottle, uh, not for drinking, but for my display case. And yeah, it just happened that they like snuck in here perfectly. So yeah, this is my Detolf showcase here. Um, like I said, guys, I might change up a few things here and there. I'm not like perfectly happy right now, but for now it's good enough. All right. All right, guys, we are now back at my uh, yeah little storage here. And I just wanted to show you quickly uh, what I have for sale, what I'm trying to get rid of because I don't need it anymore. Or I just have a lot of them in my collection and I just sorted them out. Just a brief look, guys. So what I really... Uh, don't need anymore is these sleeves here because I have so many sleeves right now and since I'm not playing anymore as well I don't really need these sleeves and I'm trying to sell these these are actually all OCG sleeves as you can see I've also made videos about these sleeves because I just think these just look so cool right these are from the 20th anniversary there's the Yugi one and also the Kaiba one and yeah just a lot of stuff here as you can see more sleeves here um, here in the back, I have like sealed starter decks. I sorted out. I don't want them anymore for my collection. At least right now, I don't feel them, but there's cool stuff like this, like the Pegasus deck here. It is one of the first decks, really, really cool. And there's also the Kaiba decks and a lot of cool stuff here, as you can see. And what else do we have? Actually, this is something I want to show you. These like old decks here. Hope I don't uh, throw everything over here. But um, as you can see, like, give me a second here. Let's put them like here. You can see these are the same deck, but they have different cards at the front. And this is also something a lot of people ask me. Um, yeah, in the OCG, they switched around the, the card, the cover card. And sometimes it's this Kaiser Seahorse, sometimes it's uh, the Vampire Lord. And you can actually also get the blue eyes and I think also one more. So you can have like different artworks for the same deck which is kind of cool because there is a new chase to like getting the one with the blue eyes. All right, then uh, more sleeves. As you can see, these are like yeah, more special sleeves. And down here, there's even more sleeves, but I can't really show them to you right now. And then here on the left, we have like a few PlayStation games. I think yeah, these are like Forbidden Memories, right? Japanese versions. I also have like a lot of books right here. Let's check one out. This, for example, oh, these are actually something from my collection. I have to find a place for these because in these books, there's actually sealed promos still inside. And in this book, I think it's a Exodia Limp, like the first edition, or not first edition, it's, it's the first generation layout for uh, the Exodia Limp I have here. Um, this is also a guidebook for a game. And I already opened the promo inside of this book, unfortunately, because I needed it for my collection. But yeah, this is basically, um, yeah, my stuff here. Some of these are for sale, but not all of them. And yeah, what do we have here? Here is something I wanted to open in the video, maybe in the future. These are original packs from Japanese stores. Didn't have the time to, to crack these, but this will be for a future video. And of course, I have a lot of like sealed booster packs, as you can see, or maybe you can't really see, but there's a lot of booster packs and I'm all listing them on card market. So if you're interested, guys, um, there's GX, there's like old OCG booster packs, a huge mix. You can just check these out on card market or message me on Instagram directly. 
down here, guys, um, I have some Game Boy games. Uh, for example, I have Pokemon games, I have Yu-Gi-Oh games, and there's quite a lot more games down there. And on the right here, I have an open starter box for sale, which is complete. And these awesome Yu-Gi-Oh metallic shikishis. And these, these Yu-Gi-Oh cups, I also have quite a lot of them left, which are also for sale. And down here, there's nothing really worth mentioning, as you can see. But maybe just one thing, I still have quite a lot of these. Oh, I have three left, actually. Three left of these 25th anniversary Kaiba display cases. These are super heavy. Yeah, but I have three of them left. All right. Yeah, uh, one more closer look at these posters here. This poster right here, I actually saw on a card hunt in Japan. And uh, I asked actually the store owner, where is this poster from? And they couldn't really answer me. They just told me it's like from an old Bandai tournament, but I don't think it's from a tournament actually. But yeah, if some of you know where this poster is coming from, let me know. Because all of these or all of the other posters you can see here are like promotional posters, like how they used to be. And this is also one of my yeah favorites here. It's the Capsule Monster Colosseum poster. And I just think it, it looks so cool. Very, very nice with all these capsule monsters. Yeah. Um, on the right here we have a very modern new poster, but I just like the look. It's from the uh, Rush Duel uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Structure Deck. And yeah, you never can go wrong with these. And actually, like modern posters like this one, they're actually super cheap. You can get them for like 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks in Japan. Um, mostly brand new. And yeah, you can just hang them up on your wall and have a huge and very nice display piece. And on the right, we're going back to Vintage. This is uh, Champion of Black Magic, the promotional poster. Yeah, just badass. I mean, in the TCG, it would be MSC, right? In the OCG, it's Champion of Black Magic. What a badass name. And here on the right, we have another uh, PlayStation game this time. This is Dual Monsters International 2. So um, I don't know much about the game. It's a Game Boy Advance game, as you can see on the top right there but it has Merrick, like you can see him right there. And there is the Chaos Emperor Dragon and the Black Luster Soldier here. And we have Millennium Ring here. And yeah, it's just a phenomenal poster. Really like them. And there you can see the camera, which I will be using yeah, to film new videos in the future. And there we continue with like actually drawn acrylic pictures from my mom. This is the Bandai artwork of the red eyes as you can see here and if we continue right here we have the SDK art we have the anniversary pack art and dark magician black Luster soldiers duo here gemini elf and dark paladin and the other posters these are all also promotional posters guardian no chikara power of the guardian soul of the duelist rise of destiny and duelist legacy volume 4 and the final poster I haven't really showed you, it's one of my yeah, coolest posters, is the promotional poster for the Structure Deck Kaiba. The one I just showed you a few seconds ago and here you can see you can get the blue eyes in the front as well. Um, just for your information, this blue eyes is actually a common. So <laughs> I don't know why they made this card a common. Oh wait, is it a common? No, I think it's also ultra rare. Sorry, my mistake there. But yeah, this is also a holographic poster. This looks insane with the deck destruction virus. I mean, what a cool poster. But uh, yeah, obviously it cost me quite a fortune. Um, you won't believe me if I tell you, but I will tell you anyways, but these posters are like 200 plus Euro. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have these because these never pop up on the market. And if they pop up, you have to pull the trigger quickly. So this is all about the posters and pictures I have on my walls. And now we're going to continue with this area. So this area guys will be uh, which, uh, or what you will be looking at when you're watching my videos, because it's directly like opposite to my, to my desk and there's the camera, right? So this area you will probably see quite a, quite a lot of time in the future. And this is why I tried to make this part almost finished by now. 
Let's have a broad look here. Down here, um, this is not finished, as you can see, quite crowded here. But at least this part here is already done. And yeah, let's have a closer look at what I have displayed here. So obviously this is the starter box. This is the very, very first deck which ever released in the OCG. And we also have the predecessors which came after. And this small deck here is the EX starter deck. This is the deck which followed this one. So this was first. Then this one came out. This is actually the same one. And then we had the EXR starter deck, which was the third deck basically. And then we always had like these decks, right? Okay. And one level lower, we have my graded card section here. Um, not the greatest light to show these off right now. But um, if you are like a fan of the channel or if you have watched some other videos of mine, these are actually the Asian English ARS graded cards by me. And I just love the fact that these like perfectly like snuck into this uh, small area right here of this IKEA Billy. And yeah, just a lot of my favorite graded cards which I can always look at. I had these like in a, in a case like in a suitcase kind of thing, like the Kaiba one, uh, Game Boy games right here, guys. But I don't really like it because I just, I didn't take them out too much. And if you display them right here, um, I will see them every day. And I know I can get bored of them, but I can just rearrange them. And yeah, cards are for yeah, being looked at them. It, at least if you don't play with them, you have to look at them. And this was the best solution for me. Yeah, just very cool pieces as you can see. Um, if there's like any card you want to hear a little bit more, maybe how I got the card or where this card is from, just let me know. Um, on the right there's also PSA cards as well. These also fit perfectly. Um, I just had to use like different stands. These are like the Japanese stands I use a lot also for my videos. Actually here is the, the sheet how they look. Um, the cool thing about these is that they have like Actually, there's a sample right here. And um, you can like put this small acrylic piece here from the bottom and you will always have the same angle. Whereas if you use like the regular ones where you have like to, yeah, where you have to do it manually and um, then the angle can vary a little bit. But okay, let's continue with what I have here. So these are all the OCG seal tins um, in a row. I think one is missing, um, maybe, yeah, it's, it's the 5D's tin which is missing here, but um, I have the most important ones, at least for me, and yeah, definitely the coolest ones are the Black Luster Soldier and the Dark Paladin tin, there is, yeah, you can't doubt me about that, these are the coolest, and yeah, the Anubis one is also very cool, the Five God Dragon, um, I don't know why they picked him uh, for the cover art, but yeah, it is just how it is. And we have the Duelist Pack Collection. And the only reason why I got this tin is because in this tin there is the Ultimate Rare Yubel. All right, let's continue with a closer look at the great cards. So here we have like a Dark Paladin Ultimate Rare. All of these are Ultimate Rare, I think. Yeah, all of these are Ultimate Rare. And these are all the cards I graded myself uh, last year. Yeah, and you can see by the grades that I actually know what I'm talking about when I grade stuff. So. <laughs> You can really trust my conditions even if I sell on card market and down there we have like a little bit of Pokemon graded cards it is just childhood guys it, it also is part of Yu-Gi-Oh for me some Pokemon and down here it still looks a little empty because on the left side where yeah I parked my boosters which I don't know where I put them right now there should be something um, I haven't decided on what to put there yet I don't have something yet but uh, I was thinking about the Vanilla Black Luster Soldier promo card which came out. Maybe I can get a case which is kind of similar to this one and I can put it on the left. But we'll see. So here in the back, um, I love these. These are the Japanese Master Collection. And if you look closely, you can see all the hieroglyphs, right? Which make for a very cool background. Very expensive, but very cool background. And here we have the Master Collection 2, which is silver. And there's also a Master Collection 3, which I could technically put in, in here between, but I wasn't able to find one yet in Japan. And here is the Kaiba display case. Just a phenomenal piece. I mean, so cheap for what they are. 
and yeah I just love them look how crazy these blue eyes look and here on the right also a small masterpiece for me is the stainless steel dark magician girl one out of 10,000 copies which I also got in Japan super nice and here we have some scapegoats and some uh, uh, how is his name it's from Mario the small bomb <laughs> And down here we have my opened booster uh, displays because guys as you know um, I also collect these open booster boxes because yeah one box of this sealed is like three to four thousand USD and I can't justify paying that much for even if it's a cool box I think these are good enough like even the open boxes if you get them in nice condition you're already paying 30 to 50 USD depending on the box some are even more expensive if they are more rare, but I think these are perfect. But as you can see, this is I just arranged them like this for the video because here there was actually a huge mess and I just wanted to put them out for the video. But um, I obviously have to find a different place or at least a different way of displaying these. And here on the left, it's the same. These are actually open tins I have for sale. And this is actually a 5D tin. I don't have like sealed anymore at least right now and a small marshmallow down here and everything which is down here is still basically under construction a lot of stuff I want to sell or I at least bought with the intention to sell but I wasn't able to do so um, by now all right and now we are moving on to the to the final area basically which is this area where I have like also a lot of stuff which I have for sale so these are my singles, I like put them in this small box here and I have labels for all the sets and yeah, I just put them in this box here. So if you buy something from card market, most likely I'm trying to find the card out of here. <laughs> and if it's a more expensive card, I have a couple binders right here. Um, also these very cool binders by Strictly Sealed, really cool. Thank you so much for sending one over to me. Um, yeah. This is sealed stuff here as well, which I have for sale. Um, there's also sealed tins and more cards I have to put on card market. And yeah, as you can see, there's so much stuff and also so many graded cards I have to sell over the next years, I would say. But there's actually really, really cool stuff in here. And if you just wanna see, I mean, I, I'm not trying to advertise what I have for sale, but if you're just curious what I have and what I would be selling or trading, I could also make like a dedicated video about like these great cards only and everything I wanna get rid of basically. And in the near future, I will also show you like there's certain projects in these binders which are like still like, ongoing and I can not show you right now because yeah, I want to show you at least something which is somewhat finished but um, I will show you like my binder collections as well in the future and especially this binder is already done so I could show you this is my Bandai card limited edition and premium pack binder there's also the booster series binder <laughs> yeah a lot of cool stuff I could show you and I will do in the future and yeah this is basically a small update from my side i just wanted to yeah get you guys on my journey show you what i'm doing i'm not gone uh, i just had a lot of stuff to do and like moving your collectibles to a new place is always very very uh, difficult to do because you have to be so careful right and you have to find a place for everything you have to plan a lot of things and i'm not that good at that i am i'm like doing it on the fly but um, i hope you enjoyed this little yeah vlog or showcase of my room this is how it looks right now and yeah in the next videos everything will evolve and yeah just give me a little feedback what you think about yeah my collection you have only seen like what i actually display but yeah this is basically what you guys will be seeing in the videos yeah this was all i had for you guys today guys and yeah see you very soon i guess in the card hunt because there's still some footage i have left for you guys and yeah Obviously, you can see I'm quite happy with what I was able to show you guys. And we will see us in a new video very, very soon. Your bilingual duelist. Ciao.